Hello there and welcome to a brand new LEGO review. Today we will be looking at, you've seen it in the thumbnail and the title, Boarding the Tentive 4 or the Tentive Boarding Play Rama as I do like to call it. And we'll get to the set in a minute but first off I was going to do a short or a shorter video at least about all the new sets, seeing them in store and Smiths hadn't actually stocked their store by the time we got there really early because I had this set pre-ordered so they were able to get it from the back and they hadn't got any of the new Star Wars Lego sets on the shelf. The Harry Potter ones, they're just wheeled out in a trolley, but I didn't feel like disturbing them to have a look. We've already had a good enough look online, and there's nothing too special. They also had the pullback Mercedes that they were just stocking up, and they had a whole trolley for that as we were leaving. But we did check in our local Sainsbury's as well, which was on it with the Creator 3-in-1 sets in January's wave. But they still hadn't stocked it. Argos didn't have any that we were able to look at. So I'm afraid this is the only set we'll be looking at. But this is an amazing set. We trekked through the absolute storm earlier. Which if you looked at the weather now. You would have not have known it was raining a few minutes ago. But I guess that's English weather. So we'll take a look at this. It does come with the first of our 25th anniversary Lego Star Wars minifigures in fives. I'm really excited to get fives because... That whole ARC Trooper outfit is going to be highly desired. I really do hope we get it in some form soon. I really think they're going to make it exclusive to Fives. And this set is good enough. I was so close to picking up two. But I thought one's good enough. So let's get this box open and take a closer look at the set. So as you can see, it's a really nice box. And before we get into the actual set itself... It is to celebrate 25 years of Lego Star Wars. The only other set that we've got for 25 years of Lego Star Wars is the R2-D2, which comes with a Darth Malak. But we have got a 25 years of Phantom Menace polybag, which I've seen a few reviews for sets such as these introducing the 25th anniversary logo. There is a brand new one, or a completely different one, in fact, for 25 years of Phantom Menace that I hope we'll get to see on a few of the Phantom Menace sets later this year, like the supposedly Sith Infiltrator that LEGO sort of leaked the silhouette of before removing it from their site. But I'm really excited to see the Fives minifigure. I think personally it's a big step up and in the right direction from the 20th anniversary. 20th anniversary saw a lot of the classic Star Wars original trilogy minifigures remade. And they could have done this for Phantom Menace with a bunch of Phantom Menace figs. But not only were there not a lot of them and they'd have basically just done the entire wave. I mean we have Qui-Gon, we have Anakin, we have Maul, we have Jar Jar and possibly an Obi-Wan. I'm sure there was some sort of Obi-Wan in one of the sets. So that would have been all the five minifigures. Supposedly six minifigures but again I speak on that in my rumours and releases. But I really do also like the different shiny, almost metallic blue artwork that they've decided to go with for the box art, which is really nice, a lot better than black. And as you can see here on the bottom, there are some droid legs. We've even got the battle droid torso pieces, some wheels, one of them bucket handles, which are commonly used for control pieces and just a bunch of even Technic pieces dotted around, so it's really nice, but you're not here to look at the box, you're here to look at the set. So we can take a look at the back, and of course we have the very fan favourite thumb tabs for LEGO, which honestly I hope they never stop doing, because I really like cracking into the thumb tabs, and I'm sure my mic picked up the sound of it, and we'll be taking a look at these play features once the set is built. So as I was building this Lego set, I decided to talk about the current state of Star Wars and my original aim was to include it in this video, but I ended up talking for over an hour and a half. So that will be its own video. That means, yes, there is another tentative video on the way, as well as all the other ideas I've got bouncing around in my head. So give it a day or two and you'll probably see that video pop up. It's going to be a long one. I'm going to try to keep it as unedited as I can but for everyone that just wanted a review of the set I spared you having to wait that hour and a half and we can skip ahead to after the build is complete. So I've just finished recording a, another video which initially I was going to include in this but then I started talking ended up speaking for an hour and a half and well, you've got that video to look forward to. But as you can see, 
we have a whole bunch of minifigures. First off, we have Arc Trooper Fives, which does look really cool. And if I can get my camera, oh, ah, I thought my camera was going to focus straight away. But if I can get my camera to focus, you can see all the details. We've got arm printing on the right arm, the left arm, no side of leg printing, which when you've got a printed Karma, definitely is something that I think Lego need to do for some of these clone troopers because the material piece would have gone around the legs and I understand that the reason they're not giving us a plastic karma or a fabric karma anymore is so that the clone trooper minifigures and especially for figures like the snow troopers they're able to sit down next to each other it was a big problem when they were designing the AAT and they just decided to not give us any karmas which is fair enough but we definitely need some side of the leg printing it also comes with a backpack which is definitely an interesting piece I can't say I remember what the arc trooper backpack looks like I would have expected just a regular clone trooper backpack the one by one printed tile on there but we also get a pauldron piece which as you can see isn't the best of pieces it's definitely a new element they've had to double side it but even then i'm sure they could have just printed these a bit wider apart and got them to curve in giving them some sort of curve shape i think it's done really great no hair piece for fives but i'm sure i have one laying around like this wolverine from my city so i know it's not quite the hair piece fives have it is probably the closest I can get to it and it doesn't look too bad if you have picked up the new Wolverine CMF you can give fives a nice looking hairpiece which definitely is something that I would have expected this character to have all the Lego City characters and different figures come with their own hairpiece so it is a bit of a shame that fives doesn't but if we take a look at the helmet I don't think they've done too bad a job I Okay, it's not the exact replica of the Clone Wars variant, and there are a few issues I've seen people pointing out, but what's nice about the General Arc Trooper uniform, it is Fives chest plate there, and I guess someone like Echo that has the handprint on, which I'd always confuse for Fives, is something we're going to need printed in the future. But if you were to take off the helmet and buy a Jesse helmet, for instance, pop it on, it looks good enough that that will hold up as a Jesse minifigure. So that's really nice. I'd love to get my hands on a, another copy of an ARC Trooper outfit. But spending £50 to get another one of these sets isn't something that is high on my list. But we'll position all the minifigures on here because there are a few play features that are, in my opinion, really, really cool. First off, we end up with a... What looks like a misused piece which is this one by one round translucent stud and that is for Antilles alternate face which is more of a worried expression but it's meant to represent him choking and Vader can pin him up against the wall and choke him out just like in the movie A New Hope which is an interesting play feature I guess I would complain that it's advertising violence but then You've got all the blasters and they're forcing their way on the ship. So I really think that's not a problem. It's just something that comes with the Lego Star Wars name. Then we also have enough places to stand the both Rebel Troopers and both Storm Troopers on these action features, which hopefully will work with this being a bit more sloped than it should be. But as you can see, these little knobs at the front here, if we ping them, the troopers do end up firing off and they can actually go pretty far so you can see that trooper went all the way into the door that was probably my favorite and then let's see if we can open this door and send this trooper backwards through it oh that's the wrong one. Oh, so it doesn't exactly work to fire him back though i'm sure if you had it on level you could fire him back through the door and as you can see he's just laying on the floor but this is a really neat mechanism if you watch the video that comes out in a few days time you'll know that it's just a simple technic brick with two sides to it and what happens is when you move to the left side the right side will also flick send in the minifigure flying and to make this work just that much nicer they've actually included a jumper plate which offsets them half and just makes sure they're not too solidly attached down and 
is a really really nice play feature not the only play feature you've sort of seen a sneak peek of it with me moving it there but the real lever is just behind this door here as you can see there is a really long technic axle here a really seemingly unnecessarily long technic axle because as i just did you can use this semi lever up here and just pull that up and down and that works just as well but it enables you to move the door without your hand being too close as you can see at the end of the hallway when the stormtroopers and vader burst through you can unlock the door and it leaves this nice fiery cut through hole that the troopers have cut down to get into the door and then you slide it back across and that actually moves to the side hides it and the door is back the door is in fact a printed brick which was really nice i was really surprised when i was building it you might even hear me gasp in the video because i don't really know what i thought it was i guess i just didn't really think of the door but where it's sliding across the other bricks and it is a little stiff to try and slide it across you can see there is still that plate there that the door is fully slid across but it's not perfect but it is pretty close especially for lego it's just a bit stiffer to use this here because you've got all the torque from the stick and as it goes along it's it's just much easier to use this and it's actually much smoother to move this so when i make my improvements to the sets i'll probably be removing this feature and it's nice because if you do remove this you can just make the back of the model nice and flush and then the model is only one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and a half studs wide which is a bit closer than 16 and a half to the typical diorama scale i guess really you should have this out one more but as the set itself is centered around this door we've only got the one two three four five six seven i guess it does make sense that it comes out one more perhaps we should push the wall one more out that way and have it scaled to a diorama but we also have these two pins you can see there is still a mess on the desk from all my spare pieces let's get them out of the camera and there's these two pins that attach to the side of the play rama here and what that enables is if i can position this nice enough you can see i can flip this round and attach it to itself and you've got a really long hallway you do require for it to be built backwards and i have seen so far two people trial this with multiple sets ash and flash rearranged it a few ways around and he actually used the connection that is shown in the back of the manual which i'll show you very quickly as you can see at the back it tells you to rearrange them front on like that it doesn't look as nice if you compare it to what i just showed you which i actually spotted in an mnr video i didn't watch the video but i did see an image of the reverse built and i think that is really really cool and it's not too hard to make again it's aimed at kids and i'm not necessarily certain that a bunch of younger lego builders will be able to put this together in reverse as quickly as i built it but definitely if you get your hands on one and would like a full passageway perhaps you could even leave out this door and try and replicate this scene here i mean it gives you enough stickers and you've got enough white ingots from two of them just to fill this six white gap perhaps you'd have to have four of the black one by twos as well but it does look really really nice i cannot wait to turn this into a diorama which for sure i will definitely be doing alongside a few other video ideas that i'd like to start a few series on and if you do buy two you get more troopers more rebels it's definitely not a battle pack when you've got vader and antilles and for 50 quid it's actually twice as expensive as getting a battle pack but you still get a really awesome clone trooper that i'll be adding to my collection and i'm very very happy i picked up this set so once again i'm very happy with the new wave of sets lego have released if you haven't seen my releases or my rumors video definitely check them out as we speak more about lego and there is a video a very very long video coming in the next few days about basically everything i talked about when building this i'd also like to compare this to a diorama make it into a diorama and 
check out what else this set can do. So make sure you're subscribed for that and you don't miss some more awesome LEGO content. May the bricks be with you, always. Thank you.